Hey YouTube, this fixed blade knife is the Kral Barker Competition Chopper. Alright, sold by Browning. Uh, it's got a 10 inch blade, convex edge, high carbon steel. Alright, satin finish. Now here's some, you see how, it, look how it chops. It can just take out, you know, it's just taking out chunks of wood. Now this is just durability testing. Just getting a feel, you know, how does it feel in hand? And I also wanted to see, you know, just if it would hold up to just some basic use. This is completely unscientific. Simply trying to beat the knife up a little, get a feel for it. That uh, piece of a log is actually a piece of a down tree. I'm filming this shortly after uh, the hurricane we had here. Had a couple down trees. And I'm just taking advantage of, uh, you know, this big hunk of wood. I'm just going to ha have at it. The knife does feel very good in hand, I have to say. And it did, it did hold up very well. Just smashing it at all angles. Here I see it's making some nice wood chips there. Making, manufacturing some, uh, some sawdust. Alright, here I was getting a little tired because I filmed five different videos in the same freaking day. But, you know, soldier on. Alright, and I stabbed into it a few times just to see how, oh, that was a nice chop. Stabbed into it to see how the tip would hold up, trying to cut with different parts of the blade, just to see how the edge holds up. Alright, some chopping coming up, and it pretty much goes through these like, well, like a little chainsaw. I mean, it just, I can see why that they use this as a competition chopper, because... I mean, it pretty much just annihilates, just annihilates these branches. And there you go. Alright, and coming up, I'm going to show you the sheath, and I'm going to show you this knife close up. I'm going to roll in the tabletop footage and discussion. Hope you enjoyed seeing this usage footage. Alright YouTube, this is that knife I was chopping with. It is the Browning uh, Kral Barker Competition Chopper. The total blade length, 10 inches. Uh, the length of the edge is about 9.1 inches. It has its full tank construction, micarta handle scales. Right? And Kral and Barker, according to my research, are uh, recognized champions at professional uh, chopping events and they collaborated to make this design and this it's just the top of the line excellent chopper and it's incredible to get this knife uh, for the price that it was you know between uh, about a hundred hundred and ten it is a high carbon steel it is 1085 all right through the magic of editing there is my USMC K bar uh, look how much larger uh, the competition knife is compared to even a, a full-size USMC fighting knife. So, a substantial blade. And one more size comparison. Check that out. First of all, have you ever seen two knives spooning? Because there it is. Oh, that, that was bad. All right. This knife is almost as big as the Essie Hunglas. Now, that you know, you guys, you guys know the Essie Hunglas. It's a massive knife. It's a huge knife. So yeah, this is, uh, you know, you could see why this has strong chopping power, but it's not just uh, the size of it, it's also, this has a convexed edge. Alright, here's a close-up for you. You see the uh, Casso section there, kind of integral guard. You see the grind. Beautiful blade, satin finish, going to help it resist, resist rust. There's a swedge there. And you see the wear and tear marks. From my chopping and but you know in the right angle you can uh, you know you can barely see them right it holds up well beautiful blade 
Okay, if you want to see a close up, the wear and tear, just a little bit. Now there's the edge, well there's the tip first of all, the swedge, and there is the convexed edge, an extremely strong yet very sharp type of edge. Very nice. Alright, here's the other side. Very happy with this blade. I mean, that's that's just a beautiful blade. Let me show you full tang construction. And look, and it has a palm swell uh, both in this direction and that direction. Now check out the full tang. It actually tapers down towards the pommel. You might say, why would they do that? Well, remember, this is a competition chopper. Obviously, you want the weight forward. All right, so it puts less weight. You know, of, of the overall weight of the knife, it puts less of it towards the pommel, more of it, you know, towards the sweet spot for the chop. Right, and the micarta handle scales look very nice. Now, notice the blade is at a slight angle forward to the handle. You see that there, just at a slight angle. Um, that's like a that that's a perfect uh, a perfect angle for getting a more powerful chop. All right, so that is very well thought out uh, to have it in that fashion. It has three holes for lanyards, and it came it came with just a you know lanyard like this. The way it came, the lanyard was through the middle hole. However, when I watched it being demonstrated in a video by one of the designers. He actually had it on the top hole, all right, so you can check out that video, all right, and I would probably put it on the bottom hole just because that's how I put a conventional lanyard, that's what I'm used to. Now overall, I mean, this is just a beautiful and functional knife, right, and even though it is around $100, which is a, a substantial amount of money, but for what you're getting, it's also a great deal. It's, I would consider it high value. I mean, this would be... You know, if you were stranded on a desert island, something like this, you know, you would cry with joy if you if you had uh, brought this with you. Uh, this can act as a substitute for uh, a hawk. You know, it's not a substitute for like you know a long axe or a hatchet, but definitely in, you don't need to carry a hawk if you're carrying this. Now this is the knife in the sheath that it comes with. Beautiful uh, brown leather sheath. You see the stitching there. All right, and you see that is the belt loop there. It does hold it securely. It's silent and uh, it's secure. It doesn't need any retaining strap to hold it and uh, to withdraw it. So it's a very nice, very nice high quality, uh, you know, traditional leather type sheath. So that's what you get. Nice. Now this would be an excellent an excellent large, well, extra large size camp knife, woodsman's knife, outdoor survival, right? And, you know, it's not meant to be uh, necessarily a military knife, but if you look how pointed it is, um, you know, it could be used, say, as defense against uh, wild animals, you know, rabid dogs, things, things like that. I mean, it has 10 inches of reach, and it is pointed enough that, you know, the tip, the tip is functional in that way as well. But altogether, it's a beautiful blade. I highly recommend it. Hope you enjoyed seeing it chop, seeing these close-ups. I'm out.